Good evening. In a month of brazen youth crime, a child of just seven years old has been involved in the latest attempt. A group of four children aged 7, 10, 11 and 12 were discovered attempting trying to steal toys from a mall in Hamilton. Police say they're shocked by the incident and that parents have a responsibility to know where their children are. Janneke Turallen reports. In the early hours of this morning, a group of would-be thieves, some still primary school age, broke into a Hamilton mall. Hamilton's top cop says one was seven, the youngest offender she's ever come across. Certainly young people is becoming a trend for ram raid type offending. Um, we haven't seen very many seven-year-olds. That's really young, it's really concerning. After an alarm went off inside Chartwell Shopping Centre about 1am, police found a child aged just seven years old clutching stolen toys. The others were 10, 11 and 12. The 11-year-old tried to run away and in doing so fell eight metres, injuring his arm. News Hub understands a farmer's store was broken into. They went there uh, with the intention of stealing toys. Um, I understand they may have had a list to order of the toys they wanted. And the owner of the shopping mall told us I'm shocked and saddened by the incident and particularly by the ages of the children involved. Up in Auckland's Grey Lynn, another group of youths had smashed into yet another dairy. Police just happened to be patrolling the area when they noticed the shop front was damaged. As they got closer, they realised the burglary was still underway, but didn't approach as the offenders were armed. Police saw the youths armed with hammers run out of the shop and pile into a waiting car that took off toward the city south. A police helicopter tracked them for about 10 kilometres and when their car eventually slid out of control and crashed into a tree, they found a 12-year-old girl behind the wheel. All five in the car were taken into custody and police found them with a large duffel bag full of cigarettes. Owner Bumika Patel says the incident is traumatising. We're working really hard to survive and then people don't care about anything. Not good feeling. It's, <laughs> it's painful. Yeah. Meanwhile, fresh vision has emerged, filmed from the point of view of the alleged thieves involved in a ram raid of Ormiston Mall in South Auckland early on Tuesday morning. The use of social media platforms to glorify some of this behaviour is a real challenge for police. Reformed ex-convict and community worker Adrian Pritchard believes the approach to youth crime should be broader than just police. What is actually happening at home? Um, because kids just don't wake up one morning and say, OK, I'm going to hold up the local dairy. He says the solution is complex. Because jail isn't, isn't the answer either. But sometimes we've got to be tough a bit of tough love for them to stop doing what they're doing. Police haven't yet said where the charges will be laid in the Chartwell burglary. Well, kia ora, Yanaka. Clearly police in Hamilton were taken by surprise by the age of the alleged offenders. Mike, it's obvious to me they really, really were. They were quite upset. They say they often see 11 to 18-year-olds involved in these ram raids and robberies. That's shocking enough. But the image of the seven-year-old clutching onto their stolen toys after having smashed their way into a mall was really a whole different ball game. Now, we've asked for a response from Police Minister Portal Williams. We've just had one. She says the issue is complex and a whole-of-society approach is needed. She'll be considering what further moves police can make along with the Ministry of Social Development in the coming weeks. Yannicka, Tanakwe.